Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a sticky column in Elementor. Elementor Pro does have a sticky feature built in, but in most cases, this is only useful for static headers, um, scroll to top buttons, maybe like a chat bot, and maybe uh, some functionality in the footer. So let me show you an example of where this might not be very useful, and that would be sidebars. Sometimes we get requests to have a static sidebar so when the user will scroll down they would like it to stop right when you get to the bottom of the section so as you can see in this example i will show you right here i got motion effects on sticky top so this functionality works great if you don't have a lot of content below these columns so if i keep scrolling down look what happens that section is just staying to the top. In this example, I'm gonna show you how you can make it where it scrolls and it will stop right when it gets to the end of this column and then the rest of the content will display correctly. Before we get started, are you entered into our giveaway to win a free $5,000 website? All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and fill out our official entry form. We'll put a link to that in the description box down below. You need to make sure that you enter before December 31st. So pause this video, go over and fill out that entry form and make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel for your chance to win. Okay, let's get back to the video. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to pull off the functionality where the user will be able to scroll down and this intersection sidebar will stay static and scroll down to the page until it hits here and then disappear once the user keeps scrolling. So. This is simply done with a little bit of CSS code. So this, this isn't gonna require any custom JavaScript or plugins or anything like that. Just a little bit of CSS code. And to pull this off, you need to assign two CSS classes to your, your sidebar columns. So the way you should have it structured is you have your parent column here, which is the column that goes all the way to the bottom. And it's best to add a intersection within that column. So in this example, I have this intersection with just a header image and some text. And it's simply the first step to do is add a CSS class to your parent column. So you click on the column, add a class here. And the next step is to add a class to your intersection. So I'm just gonna call this sticky column and then i have this one called sticky parent now i'm just going to copy over the code um, you can add css code within elementor pro right here under page settings you can just add this code that i have in the description below if you are using the free version you can still pull this off but you're going to have to add the css code um, through the customizer or through your theme, wherever it may be. But with the pro version, you can add it right on the page. So this makes it easy. You don't have to navigate from the page. And so as you can see, these are the two classes I just assigned. So we have sticky column and sticky parent. And this is pretty simple, just CSS code telling the browser, make it sticky. This whole thing is now a block of CSS. So now when the user scrolls, it should stick all the way to the bottom and it should stop right here. Perfect. That's exactly what you'd like. And the only other setting you may need to change is if you need to offset it. So for example, this header is a little bit big. So when the user scrolls back up, the about us page um, or about us header is getting cut off. So this CSS code I have is really easy to change the top. So if you just change right here, I have it as a REM right now. So you can just custom change it to 50 pixels. And let's see if that is good. Nope, we might need to go a little bit more. So this will be the only setting that might be a little bit unique for your, your website. So let me do 100. So now you can see right here, the user can scroll. It is 100 pixels offset. And in this example, the user scrolls back up and this header comes down and that's not getting cut off. So that's all you have to do to uh, pull this off. Now you need to make sure that the content you have on the left or however, wherever your sidebar is, the opposite column needs to be long content for this to work correctly. Um, 
And as you can see in tablet mode, it works the same. You just do the sticky here. And then in mobile, it mobile doesn't have this functionality because it usually stacks. So there's nothing to, um, to make sticky. That's it for this elementary tutorial. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to receive notifications when we post more videos like this. Thanks. This is Mark from Wiki Design.